All right, TOL fans, I hope you're ready for some excitement. We are looking at the Newt Clam Chowder Bowl featuring Philly's finest with their super all-star Ben Franklin and Allen Iverson going up against the Draft Bus. Both of these teams made the playoffs. Draft Bus came in at 8-8. Eight and eight. Kind of middle of the board, middle of the board, kind of all across almost all the stats. They were uh, decent on offense, but not spectacular. Defense, decent on defense, but not spectacular. Speaking of spectacular, we got Betsy Ross here with one hell of a return. Um, they struggled to score some points, so they didn't have a great point differential. Defense was reasonably solid, and then on the opposite uh, side. You got Philly's finest with an amazing offense, and I want to give Mike a lot of credit for kind of building his entire offense around the WR2 spot and making that one of the most effective uh, player positions I've ever seen. So that was pretty badass. Um, but unfortunately, uh, gave up a lot on the defensive end and actually came in ranked uh, 28th in the league for defense. So hopefully they can just rack up these points with an unstoppable offense. And if they give up a few points, if it's a shoot em out race, you got to assume Philly's finest is going to win. They are hosting the game, so that's a nice little advantage for them. So they're, so far, they're driving down. They're in the red zone. Let's see what Iverson can do. Interestingly, Iverson had the best yards per attempt of any rusher in the entire league, averaging over 15 yards. That was freaking badass. And there he is. He finds Mike Schmidt for a glorious little uh, thread-the-needle touchdown to get it rolling. Tina Fey with those sexy calves, able to doink it in. And uh, I don't even mind that scar in the face. I can, uh, you know, trace that with a fingernail. It'd make it bleed a little bit. You never know what you're going to do. All right, Claret. Pretty shitty return, but does get him just outside the 20. Goes for the old waggle. Got the RB2. Able to avoid the person. Oh, and Richards just drops it. That was pretty pathetic. Not what you want to see. Let's see if they repeat that. Nope, they're going with the waggle. They fake. They've got their guy open, but he wasn't that far, just enough away. There's Williams, and I believe the note said Williams is like 13th best receiver. Again, Franklin up there, super high. And Franklin had just an unbelievable 54 attempts with 44 TDs. Speaking of a TD, oh, and a moonwalk. Thank you for that. There's Williamson. So he's trying to say, hey, I can be featured up, not quite on that top page, but pretty damn well. But back to Franklin. The, his TD to reception ratio is just unheard of, and frankly, I don't think it'll ever be matched. So that's a 90% uh, with more than, you know, 20 attempts. Uh, he was not the league-leading receiver. Uh, Mike, in his uh, famous trap jaw, was able to get that and earned himself two shirts in the process. And my goddamn one and only wasn't even on the top board! But we'll uh, let that be. Maybe he'll shine in the playoffs. You never know. Oh, there Iverson throws a rare pick. Debates. But again, um, Franklin's yard per catch, over 50, which I believe is the only one in the league. And then his TDs for reception was just phenomenal. There's Phillips with a nice little dump off. Picking up six yards. And obviously, if the uh, draft bus can kind of get ahead and then somehow... Uh, Oh, what the hell happened there? I guess it was a handoff. I thought I was fooled by the waggle. I thought Manziel was going to keep the ball. And big drop back. Will Smith comes in. Big tackle. And now they're down. Uh, fourth down. Of course, we've got a punt that looks a little deep to my eye. Maybe not, though. Let's see what happens. I take it back. One hell of a punt right at the three. Betsy Ross, one of the league's leading, I believe, if memory serves, league leading, or at least top five leading punt returner. I don't think she was quite as good on the kickoffs. But let's see. One thing that was surprising, Franklin's only scored one touchdown on that reverse play through the entire season. I found that to be a little unusual, especially given his lightning speed. Called play, Iverson just stares at Quentin Coriat as he races down and smashes him. Here comes uh, Franklin again. Let's see if he can dispel that TD. He's got a lot of green, and people are taking bad angles. Can we get two divers? Oh, he's got a chaser. Then he's got an invisible man. 
Be a diver! Oh, close, but one hell of a run there. 65 some yards it looked like as he just streaked down now he's blowing by his man but i think they're gonna try to oh nice little dump off and but the linebacker able to leap up and tap it down all right here we go balboa making some nice moves yeah buddy would you come on over to my apartment I'll show you a real man Looks like we're going to see Iverson again. Maybe he's going to get one of those TDs. Can he get a good block? Oh, he, he hurls somebody. Hurls a second person. Franklin, not known for being strong, but I think he's got his walker out there. Actually, he's got that claw grabber that he invented, and he's just knocking people. And there's Iverson, uncharacteristic. Two TDs in the first half. That's unacceptable. And that's certainly going to put a stymie in on the offense. And let's see what Phillips can do. Picks up a nice nine yards on the pitch out to the left. Manziel's got four wide, but they go with the pitch again. Can he get a blocker out there? Does. Easy first down. Plenty of time left in the second. They can take their time as they drive down the field. They're working that side. That's what she said. Look at him go. Oh, unable to throw the guy. That would have been huge, but still a glorious 14, 15 yard pickup. I believe, um... Who the hell is there? Phillips? Did I write that down right? I think Phillips uh, had a pretty good uh, over 10-yard attempt um, for carry, if memory serves. Could be wrong. One of their running backs did, which I thought was pretty impressive. All right, there goes Manziel. And Manziel's looking pretty fast. Oh, and he gets the double diver. Gets another diver. I think he's going all the way. He is. Money Manziel with the money shot. Looking stuff is dripping off the eyelids. We're looking around, waiting for a towel. And there it is in the end zone. Nice job. Wow, this is happening listening to Bobby uh, send updates about things he's thinking about for the next couple of seasons. It's distracting me. Talking about push-pull, talking about grappling, talking about coverage. And I can't participate. I'm in the middle of this. All right, here we go. Oh, he's got Franklin wide open. Does that nice little lob, but oh, just a little too high. Now they pitch to Balboa. Balboa's got a lot of green, but the safety does close up quick and prevents him from getting the first. Nice nine-yard gain there. My dog came to join me. There's Balboa. He just got a nice first, and he crosses in. Now their time's a little bit of an issue here, especially if they just decide to run, but this, this offense can score and score at almost any time. Iverson thought he was going to take off there. Now, one thing to note in these uh, bowl games, if memory serves, everybody is back to average. Um, so, of course, then you can have slight subtle changes as the quarters go on, but you're not going to get those sweeping changes that you might have seen in the season. And, of course, there's no injury. Wait a minute, folks. Did you see that? Franklin leaps up. The, 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 the Browns coach is... is is reaching for the challenge flag. Money Manziel is there. He, he couldn't get it out of his pocket. It was tangled up in something. I think it was like one of those little like cuckold things that's on his thing and he couldn't pull it off and he's trying to get the red flag out. It came too late because replay clearly shows that Franklin had both feet out of bounds, but somehow the refs call it a TD. And that's just insane. Wow. Big, big swing there to tie the game, and I don't think Draft Bus is going to be able to punch it down there. Oh, again, they're just trying to force that shitty little pass. Lucky it's not picked off. Third and ten. You know, you don't want to give Philly any time. They call the right play. They can score from anywhere on the field. Does he get it off? He does. Oh, oh but they don't get the first, so they're forced to pump it down. They really have almost no time at all. But you never know. They got a pretty good... We got, got Ross back there. Could possibly get him in field goal position. Pretty solid kick. Let's see what extra little bean is able to clock it. Ross takes it at the 14. Got a hell of a job in front. Does get some nice blocking. And then Ross just 
right into the pile of people. So we're looking at four seconds. This is not the play I would have called if this was my last play of the half. Clearly, I would just wait and hawk it. But they're going for a few pad their stats instead. They throw it up to Schmidt, and he feels it. Unusually, he actually has a baseball glove on the field, and that's what he catches the ball in. A bit surprising, but seems to be working for him. All right, so it's halftime. We're basically back to square one. We're looking at 14... Eh, panties. We're looking at 14-14. Tina Fey, once again, I wouldn't mind seeing a panty shot there. Nice little kick. Clear it. Slow, but gets out. And let's see what we can do here. Let's see what the approach is. Now, the uh, draft bus went with a pretty even rush throw balance. And as a result, they got a nice even offense. I think they were eighth ranked best offense. So pretty, the nice thing about that is if one thing's getting shut down, you can switch to the other. Um, but sometimes it's hard to be super dominant. Speaking of dominant, oh, come on, Manziel. His hands were a little slippery from some halftime activities and unable to get a good grip on the ball. Here he comes. This should be a first. It is, and much more good. Another 20-yard gain. Manziel eye in the end zone. Right. Could have handed it off. Probably would have had the first. Instead, they throw it deep into coverage. Third and six. Let's see what the deal is here. They got that double back formation. Oh, it's a called play. Is he fast enough? He is! And he hit! What? Oh, he dropped it when he's wide open. What a bum. Get that guy off the field. That was ridiculous. Manziel makes a great move. Sprints out from four charging linemen able to plant his feet, swivel his hips like Dak down the field, then pop it, and yet nothing happens. And the guy drops a wide open pass at the one, and they're forced to punt. Or kick, what, well, I don't know what the hell, that, I don't even know what the hell just happened. I was so excited about announcing. I guess they kicked a field goal. All right. Let's see what we got. Did I just completely miss them kicking a field goal? Wow, that shows you what happens. You get into the spill. There's Franklin wide open. I don't think anybody's going to catch him. No, sir. -y. Bob. And he's looking to get to that half century mark if he just has an amazing game. They're really going to have to turn it on. But a huge play from Franklin. And Philly's finest reclaims the lead just like that. Showing you once again they can score from just anywhere on this damn field. That's impressive and that keeps you interested in watching sitting on the edge of your damn seat. Clarette makes a good, pretty good move. Gets out to the 20. Let's see what we got. Again, it's a double back. It's one of their faves. Oh, uh, but not this time. Manziel's fast, but he ain't that fast. Drew Frazier with his hands up and under that face mask. Looks like Manziel's spitting out a tooth. Oh, and he is. He's dazed. He's walking like Daniel Jones. Head bobbing. Doesn't quite know what's going on. Not even sure what quarter it is, but he has a chance. He does fire it downfield. Oh, even the drunken stupor able to make a great throw. And the man is taken down to the 32, but very impressive to keep that ball moving. Unfortunately, the Phillies just had totally blown coverage. Let's see what Richards can do. Maybe it was Richards who's got that 10-yard average. I was going to say, those other run plays with that guy, I couldn't give you that. But I think Richards had his plus 10-yard average. Manziel with the pitch down to Phillips. Phillips looking to get a little something. Oh, he comes up the ball. There's a man right there. Oh, but he's too slow and they can't get on it. Oh, they do get on it. What the hell am I talking about? I've only had one of these things. All right. I'm looking like Sam Huff over here. There goes Richards. Says, screw you. I do have an over 10-yard carry average. With that play, I'm pumping it in. Richardson, well done. T. Rent. Rick Cardson. Good job, buddy. There's a Giulio with a man flying by, but he does sneak it through. The guy closed his eyes like a big pansy and moved to the side instead of absorbing the hit with the ball. All right, here comes good old Betsy. She looks like she's moved up a condition, but unable to get around to the outside. Okay, double back for them. They've got that same play. They've got Balboa open if they choose. No, they decide to go to Day. 
Gets that first down. Well caught under coverage. But they are down by three. Don't want to delay too long. Oh, they've got Franklin wide open. He lofts it. It looks a little long, but he gets a jump and grab. There is Franklin. That's what he's famous for. Wow, the nice soft lob. And then Franklin with the surprising ups, able to leap high into the field. This time he did clearly have his speed inbounds. So there's no controversy here. And he does score. They reclaim the lead. It's a four-point lead going into the fourth quarter. Let's see what happens. Here comes Claret, seeing his dream and dreams of getting to the 25. And he shall exceed those dreams by a massive two yards. Manziel looks like he's gonna try to take it up the side, but the blocking's pretty good. And he picks up nothing. Last play of the quarter. Again in their fave, double back. Give it to Richardson, who's been having that good average. Once again, another big gain for Richardson. That is a pretty sweet play. Costly as it is. And gets him that nice first down. It keeps the chains moving. Fresh set of downs. Oh, but they keyed in on it this time. Richardson unable to pick up anything. In fact, loses a big six. Now it looks like we're going to have that pitch down. But again, not a good blocking scheme. Ugh, only picks up a yard. Haven't seen this play much. Gonna have a man open up top if he waits a little bit. Does he feed it a little? Oh, come on now. You gotta pull that in, baby. This is the Nukes Clam Chowder Bowl, right? I'm over here scraping off some fucking skim. That skin, that nasty ass skin on my clam chowder because it got overcooked, right? If I'm gonna slog through that, you better get your ass up off the ground and catch that goddamn ball. All right, we got four wide for Iverson. Deadly, deadly play. Here it goes. That looks good to me. Right in the bread basket, and we're not going to see anybody there. And I think he's up to three if my count is accurate. Could even be four. Nah, I think three, but whatever. We said we'd love to get him to the half century mark. Man, oh man, what a play. And we knew, you know, Franklin was relatively well contained. They just weren't finding him in the first half. But this second half, after Coach Jenkinson just took a giant piece of chalk and smashed it into the chalkboard in rage and anger at halftime because Franklin wasn't gotten it in that little circle of who that player was and just said, throw the ball here and slammed it. Well finally got something done this has to be a completion and it is he does stop his feet but the other guy doesn't take a good angle and there it is score for score got to give the draft bus credit they're not usually the, the go down the field in a single play but money manzel finds his man there on the red gun and boom suddenly it's a close game again one score anything could happen all it takes is a cough up now, the Phillies' finest did a gutsy move going up against the Dogs, and they had one hell of a game. That was a pretty exciting uh, playoff game. They put Franklin in as a returner, and it paid off. It kept them pretty close in. But here's Ross saying, I can return too. Look at me go all the way to the five. That's goddamn impressive. Let's see if Franklin can get another TD. He's got a chance here. Pretty good blocking. Uh, and he's in. He wanted that touchdown. Desperate for it. Through was a man there, he hurtled over him, his glasses fell off, but he didn't care. And there he is, he actually did a flip, still landed on those hips and able to support his weight. Wow, that was impressive, and Franklin's turned into a scoring machine. Tina Fey with a kick. Did I mention she's got nice calves? Claret does nothing. Now we're looking at really, honestly, score on side score. I really can't see anything else happening for these dudes. Okay, pretty decent run for Phillips. They're not, they're not so crushed for time that they really got to crank it up. Manziel drops back. Right? They're listening to me. They're feeding him. Pretty good game. Oh, we can only throw one guy, but an easy first. Up to the 45. They'll take 10-yard chunks. They do the waggle, a man breaks free. Ooh, lucky that wasn't picked off. Second and 10, oh, this is the play they scored on. See if they can get lucky with the coverage. 
They ain't fun. Oh, the dropped passes from the draft bus are just unacceptable. I mean, there is one at the, this should be 35, 42, if nothing else. And then that would be really exciting. They wouldn't have to get the goddamn onside. Well, here it comes. I mean, they don't get this play unless it's just an immediate turnover. They're screwed. What are they going to do? They do the waggle. They've got the RBs right there. I wouldn't have gone with that guy, but it worked out anyway. Nice throw. Gets it to the 24. Well played. They keep the ball moving. There's still 90 seconds. Reasonable time. But they are going to have to rely on that onside. Oh, he's got his man, but he's got some pressure. He moves nicely out of the way. Moves up. Got good speed. He's scoring. He is scoring. Money Manziel had enough recovery, enough refractory period to get another money shot. There we go. Clearly getting fluffed along the sidelines. Impressive. I don't think I'd be able to come back in 10 minutes like that, but it's a game for a younger man. All right, well done, well done. There's the onside, shitty onside, and they kick it right to the star player with great hands, Iverson. That's a little anticlimactic. Here comes a run with Balboa. Oh, yeah, Balboa almost found some green, but couldn't pick up his feet. It's like he was running in sand and something. It was kind of slow. He's also used to guys pulling up because he's supposed to win, even though they would really destroy him in a race. All right, we need a real quick three and out. Real quick three and out. He, is it Franklin deep and alone? Oh, there's Franklin with half century. He found it, baby. He found it with five TDs. That's fucking badass, Allen Iverson right there. Very impressive. Tina Fey comes on to give the little exclamation point. Wow. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Tina Fey with a nice little blast, and now it's just for a little bit of pride. Clear it. Bumps into one guy. It worked once, buddy. It ain't gonna work twice. You're supposed to avoid the defenders. Money Manziel, they're just trying to get the hell out of there. They wanna go get some... Nuked clam chow to themselves. Last play of the game. Two back. Called play. And that's all she wrote, folks. So that's the end of a pretty fun season. Definitely fun watching Philly's finest fly up and down and see Franklin and Iverson do some amazing things. Draft bus hung in there in an interesting division. Battling up against Nintendo Power and the Mongeese and others. I think they fucking beat me too, which is really annoying. Um, so obviously I was rooting for them to lose in this battle. And such is life. All right. Let's hope you enjoy the rest of the bowl games and stay tuned for the championship game.